Hi, welcome to Open Education Channel and this is ASP.NET Core Series. In this video, we will learn what is MVC. I will not dig deeper on MVC here, but only give you the basic understanding of MVC pattern. MVC is a design pattern. This is not a new design pattern. It was introduced in year 1979. In the starting, web applications were not using this design pattern. But it was Ruby on Rails which used MVC in the web development framework for the first time. MVC stands for Model View Controller and it provides code reusability and separation of concerns. You may have heard this term separation of concerns before and this essentially means that give a specific class only single responsibility. It is a bad idea to give a single class multiple responsibility. In MVC, model views and controllers are responsible for the work they are assigned for and they don't disturb each other. In model view controller design pattern, model represents your data. It could be your database or repository or any kind of service which provides you data. It also includes the business logic of the application. View represents the rendered user interface on user side. This is what your end user or client see on their desktop or any mobile device. This contains your HTML codes, CSS, JavaScripts. So view represents whatever is shown on the user screen. Controller is like a manager which controls which model will be used and which view will be shown. It handles all the interactions between the model and the view. So when a request comes from a end user, it is sent to the controller designed for handling that particular request. In the controller, developer defines which model and view will be used. So the controller gets the data from the model and then send the fetch data to the view. And then that view is sent as a response. This is a simple workflow of MVC design pattern. In ASP.NET Core MVC, it provides nice URL structure which you can say as friendly URLs or SEO optimized URLs. Developer can design the URL in any way he or she wants. Also, it gives you the full control on the HTML in the view. In next video, we will see how to create a basic .NET Core console application and then converting it into a web application. 